Moya marries the tortoise. African folktale. Moma, the huge rock python, lived in a hole in the side of the hill. His daughter was the most beautiful creature that had ever been seen. All the animals of the forest loved her, but they were afraid of her father. At last, the elephant decided, I will ask Moma if I can have his beautiful daughter. I am not afraid. I can strike with my tusk, strangle with my trunk, or crush with my feet. So, Polo, the elephant, coughed outside Moma's hole to announce his presence, and called, How do you do, Moma? Who are you? asked the snake as he put his head out of the hole. Oh, you should have seen those great glaring glassy eyes. They were cruel. The elephant's skin shrank into folds with sheer fright. He held his ground for just a few seconds, then dashed away into the forest. That evening, when the animals came out to play in the village street, the elephant came shambling sadly home. Ha <laughs> ha! laughed in Tambo the lion. You are a coward. Now it's my turn. I'm not scared. I tear with my teeth and rip with my claws. I'll go and ask the python for his daughter. Next morning, the lion coughed outside the snake's hole. How do you do, Moma? Who are you? hissed the snake as his head appeared. You should have seen his horrible mouth. The lion was so scared that he could not answer but put his tail between his legs and slunk away like a whipped dog. That evening, as the animals came out to dance in the village street, there came the lion with head down, too sad even to answer their greeting. Well, well, snorted the buffalo, to think that you, the great in Tambo, lion of the forest, were afraid. Now it's my turn. What should I fear? I stamp with my hooves and toss with my horns. I will go and ask Moma for his daughter. Next morning, the buffalo coughed before the entrance to the python's home, calling his greeting. How do you do, Mama? Who are you? called the snake as he came out. You should have seen his terrible teeth and his tongue darting in and out. The buffalo was so startled that he flung up his tail, put down his head, and dashed away into the forest. That evening, as the animals came out to play in the village street, the buffalo came disconsolately home, so sad that he could hardly put one hoof before another. The crocodile tried, the hippopotamus tried, the hyena tried, the leopard tried, they all tried, but with the same invariable failure, until none dared even to mention the name of Buya, the beautiful creature that was Moma's daughter. Then, the little tortoise in Kuvu announced, I have decided to ask Moma for his beautiful daughter in marriage. You? You little silly. As if you had a chance when even the elephant has failed. We shall see, 
was all that the tortoise replied, and going off to the python's hole, he coughed as the others had done. How do you do, Mama? Who are you? What do you want? said Moma, unwinding himself from his hole. You should have seen his head. It was as big as a house. But that was nothing compared to the body that followed it. I am Inkubu, the tortoise. And I have come to ask for the hand of Booyah, your beautiful daughter, in marriage. What? You? I'll crush you. And the snake wound himself vast coil on mighty coil upon the back of the poor little tortoise. Inkuvu opened his foot door. He put in his head. He put in his legs. He shut the door. And down he went into the ground under the immense weight of the snake. Now he's dead, thought Moma, and uncoiled himself. But Inkuru was not dead. He just gave a wriggle and came out of his shell. Then, beaming up into the snake's face, he said, How charming of you to embrace me like that. I'm sure that we shall get on well together. What? I can't crush him, thought the snake. Then I'll crack him. And taking the tortoise in his teeth, he flung him into the air till he looked like a little spot in the sky. The tortoise opened his front door. He put in his head. He put in his legs, and he shut the door. Then he came down and hit the ground with a thump. Inkuvu came out of his shell, and smiling up at the python, said, How kind of you to give me a ride like that. I can see that we shall get on together famously. What? mused the snake. I can't crush him. I can't crack him. I'll drown him. And he threw the little tortoise far out into the lake. The tortoise opened his front door. He put in his head. He put in his legs. He shut the door. And down he went with a splash into the water. Then... After swimming about for a while in the sunlight, he returned to the bank, beamed up into the python's face, and said, How good of you to give me such a splendid swim. I can see that we shall be the greatest friends. What? pondered the bewildered python. I can't crush him. I can't crack him. I can't drown him. I know what I'll do. I'll swallow him. And he opened his great jaws and swallowed the little tortoise in one gulp. Poor Inkuvu opened his front door. He put in his head. He put in his legs. He shut the door. And down, down, down he went inside the snake. However, Moma the python had never had such an experience before. He could hear a voice down in the depths of his anatomy chuckling. Isn't it nice down here? I like this. And Moma was so upset that, that, well... He did what the whale did with Jonah, and there stood the tortoise before him, declaring, How much you must like me! I'm sure that you will make a splendid father-in-law. The snake was nonplussed. He scratched his head with the point of his tail, 
for it was all he had to scratch it with. He mused, what am I to do? I can't crush him. I can't crack him. I can't drown him. I can't swallow him. Then all that remains is to give him my daughter in marriage. And so it happened that that afternoon, as the animals were singing and dancing in the village street, who should come marching up the road but in Kuvu the tortoise, arm in arm with Booyah, the python's beautiful daughter?